These are some of the top new indie games coming out this May. Links to the Steam pages are in the description for you to wishlist and follow what you like from these games. So let's get right into the list. Soul Survivors is one of the latest games to follow in the footsteps of Vampire Survivors. Starting with six unique playable heroes and likely to expand even further as the game progresses throughout Early Access, each hero has their own unique abilities and meta progression to experience. Take on different areas for unique enemy types to conquer, environmental hazards to avoid, and bosses to fight. As you play, you'll unlock different talents, power-ups, skills, and upgrades you would expect from a game of this style. If you're looking for something similar to Vampire Survivors and you have already exhausted the latest content update for it, be sure to take a look at Soul Survivors as it just hit early access on Steam and keep an eye out on the development roadmap for new content drops. For centuries, the Couteau d'Or has chronicled the greatest chefs in one prestigious guide. The long-running and overwhelmingly well-reviewed Cook Serve series gets another new entry, although this one is notably identified as a new IP on the Steam page, making this a sort of spin-off with new mechanics that will make this one stand out from the rest of the series. This time sporting a whole new adventure with a dynamic cooking system, hundreds of new ingredients and recipes, and unique side quests to take part in. This new entry also comes with a fully voice acted story set in a futuristic city, and a new original soundtrack composed by Jonathan Gear, who you may know for his work on previous Cook Serve Delicious titles, as well as Owlboy. Cook Serve Forever is available now on PC. Ruin has found you at last. The full version of the sequel to the massively successful and incredibly brutal Darkest Dungeon is now out on PC. This has been a long time coming since being announced back in 2019 and entering early access in October of 2021. The sequel takes on a new direction and adds a wealth of new mechanics such as a new token system for the combat on top of the mechanics you already know and love which have been further refined. Your team is now filled with heroes containing their own backstories to uncover rather than being randomly generated meat bags. In another new feature, the heroes will now have an affinity mechanic where they will grow new bonds or irritate each other as the run continues, throwing a monkey wrench in your well-laid plans. Wayne June even reprises his role as the narrator so you can face some horrific monsters in a fancy new 3D art style and eradicate them. Or, you know, stress out, panic, and die. Either way. Transitioning to something a little different, Panorama is a relaxing and beautiful tile-based puzzle game and world builder. Place colorful tiles to connect and grow your own world with an ever-evolving landscape. While you have freedom to craft the land as you see fit, placing tiles in just the right way and completing quests will help it take shape even further and maximize your score. Let your imagination run wild and sculpt the perfect town filled with forests, lakes, and mountain ranges as you see fit. Take a step back and admire your newly crafted world when Panorama releases on PC May 9th. Until then, try out the demo yourself on Steam. Death or Treat is a new hack and slash style roguelite with a terrifically spoopy hand painted backdrop themed around Halloween that has some notes of Hollow Knight to its art style with a bit more color and a more Saturday morning cartoon look. Take control of Scary as you journey across a large world, take on hordes of enemies with a variety of weapons, and unlock hidden treasures to expand your weapon pool even further. Shops you encounter along the way will allow for expansion of your inventory space, purchase healing items, or craft magic spells. Tackle interesting boss fights, die, keep your items, and try again. Don't miss this one when it comes out on PC, PS5, and Xbox on May 11th and eventually coming to Nintendo Switch and PS4 later this year. Hi, my name is Rhys, and I'm a designer on Tin Hearts, a narrative puzzle adventure developed by Rogue Sun. In Next up, we have Tin Hearts, an imaginative 3D puzzle platformer set in a beautiful world that has a look reminiscent to the critically acclaimed It Takes Two, while featuring puzzles that may have some Lemmings influence as well. 
Ten Hearts has already released this past month on the Switch, and it now comes to PC and PlayStation consoles on May 16th. Control your toy soldiers, manipulate the world's objects, and control time itself to change the outcome of your actions, and to solve increasingly intricate puzzles laid out across over 50 levels. All the while unraveling an emotional and twisting story set in the home of a Victorian-era inventor. Ten Hearts is brought to you by former members of Lionhead Studios, most notably known for their work on the Fable series, so keep an eye out for this one when it comes out. Inkbound is a turn-based online co-op roguelike made by the same indie dev team who brought you the very well-reviewed roguelike deck builder Monster Train. The team behind Inkbound is taking a lot of ideas from their work on Monster Train and having them reworked to create something new while retaining a similar spirit. This time, Shiny Shoe has developed a co-op turn-based combat system where all players can move freely and act simultaneously, making it feel very dynamic and free-flowing. Strategize with your friends to form a team of up to four players in a large and diverse world, with highly customizable characters for you to craft the perfect build. Play a part in the game's future development as it enters early access on PC on May 22nd. More characters and worlds are already noted to be some of the elements that will be added to the game as it reaches further and further into development. After Us is a beautiful and emotional explorative adventure game and platformer where you take control of Gaia in her journey through a dying world to salvage the souls of now extinct animals and restore life to the planet. Traverse a desolate world that is ravaged by dangerous oil-covered devourers who mindlessly roam the wasteland in search of remaining life. During your adventure, you will witness a changing landscape as you restore it to its former life, and encounter the souls of the animals that have been lost in the destruction of the planet. Discover the mysteries behind the destruction and learn the fates of the devourers when After Us comes out on PC, PS5, and Xbox on May 23rd. Welcome to Sedentary, my town. Step into a post-apocalyptic world with colorful and interesting characters, a story with depth, breathtaking visuals for an indie dev team, and some terrific voice acting when Miasma Chronicles comes out on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on May 23rd. Miasma Chronicles features both real-time exploration along with tactical, turn-based combat featuring RPG mechanics set in a depressingly not-too-distant future America where the country has been torn apart by a mysterious force known as the Miasma. Take control of Elvis as he learns how to control it for his own use and uncover the mysteries of the world. The game comes from the creators of the extremely stylish and severely underrated turn-based tactics indie game, Mutant Year Zero, and you can see a lot of what they learned from working on that game in this one. It's clear from the available trailers and screenshots that this dev team has only gotten better at creating some ridiculously impressive visuals to make this world and the characters really come alive. This one deserves to be getting way more attention, so make sure you don't miss this one, especially if you like a good tactical RPG, when this comes out later this month. You may have seen this next one getting a lot of attention recently. Bread and Fred is the latest game to take on the frustratingly addictive Fadian type game. Climb the mountain, fall, climb, fall even further, and repeat. This time you can climb a mountain with a current friend and likely future enemy if he doesn't stop fooling around. Just remember you're playing as cute little penguin boys and all will be better soon. Though if you've already defriended him, you can take on the mountain in a single player mode with your newfound rock friend. Try it out and yell obscenities in the process when this comes out on PC May 23rd and consoles later this year. In the meantime, you can try out the demo on Steam. To cassette beasts. Let's go over some combat basics. While already released in April on PC and as a day one Game Pass offering, console gamers can soon get their hands on the well received Pokemon like monster teaming adventure, Cassette Beasts, when it comes to Xbox and Nintendo Switch this month on May 25th. Though calling it a Pokemon-like at this point doesn't do it enough justice as it has wholly unique style, mechanics, and gameplay itself. The game has received a whole lot of praise since its recent release, and after trying it out, I can say it is very well deserved. 
with a very open world feel, a lot of exploration and platforming mechanics, hidden secrets to discover, a mysterious and engaging story, and a wealth of interesting monsters to encounter, it does a lot of things right to leave a lasting impression on Pokemon fans who have experienced some frustrations in recent years with the series they grew up with. The game goes even further than you would expect with the ability to fuse any two monsters leading to over 1400 different combinations and a combat system featuring a lot of customizability. Many monster types and interactions with a lot of layers to it. It's clear a lot of love went into the making of this by this new up and coming indie team so don't sleep on this when it comes out to console later this month. It's the real deal. Batboy is a retro-style 2D side-scrolling platformer set in a world where your teammates have been brainwashed and need to be rescued via baseball-style combat. You know, as you would expect. The game's glorious 8-bit visuals and hard-hitting chiptunes will make you feel like you've been transported to a different era. Combat revolves around close-quarters bat swings, sending projectiles right back at your enemies, and pogo-style swing attacks. In addition, you can learn new skills along the way as you traverse a world filled with environmental puzzle solving, hidden secrets, collectibles, unlockable music, and other surprises. Think of this game as one part Shovel Knight, one part Mega Man, if you've been looking for something reminiscent of those, it looks like it'll scratch a similar itch, so check it out as it comes to PC on May 25th. Hot Heat Reset is a fast-paced, maze and puzzle-like action game. Think and act quickly as you move along the world's grid-based structure, fail, reset, and try again. Deploy various unlockable elements to help you through the maze and try out new characters with their own unique abilities as you witness many, many explosions. The game is filled with bright neon style colors, a ton of flashy visual effects, and a simple to pick up control scheme but challenging gameplay that is designed for you to try, try, and try again. Chapter 1 is available now as a free demo so you can try it yourself before it hits digital shelves on PC later this month. Our god is no more, and we are the ones who killed him. Shattered Heaven is a deck building and dungeon crawling roguelite with RPG elements and a deep branching story that takes shape based on your actions. Take on procedurally generated dungeons, craft and upgrade weapons, potions, and equipment. Customize your characters and builds through an extensive skill tree and equipable trinkets. If you're looking for something with an intricate world and story, a highly replayable adventure with a diverse set of characters, an epic soundtrack, and a ton of lore to delve into, then this should be right up your alley. You can jump into this dark fantasy world when it comes to PC on Early Access on May 31st. And those are some of the best indie games coming out this May. If you enjoyed this list, give it a like, subscribe to see more videos just like this one, and let me know in the comments which of these games you are most interested in today. Until next time, I'm Colonel Dupes, and I'll see you in the next one.